these were all done no? affirmative and all these were all done right present tense did i teach you just see this right present tense yes i see this, this was done okay this was done see no no one is done tense is, isn't a start last week you told okay, me okay i didn't start, start. Only. i didn't start okay yeah. i have to start right so i have completed adverbs yeah. i have completed adjectives articles pronouns and uh, what is this for and verbs five topics completed right yeah. articles verbs pronouns yeah. adjectives yeah. and uh, one minute articles adjectives pronouns verbs adverbs five topics completed in grammar yeah yeah, yeah. Later, yeah, yeah. So I'm starting on with tense today. Okay. 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 So tense concept is known more or less like, like in Hindi you all have studied when you were young in school. Like uh, what is happening now we say present, what happened before we passed and what will happen in the future, we call it future. Okay. So now see in the same way this particular picture, picture, uh, picture I mean pictorial representation. Future tense is showing I will give a test. Then present tense, the principal is asking the teacher, what are they doing? So continuous, okay, they are taking a test. Then after the test, the, this guy asked this another student. Huh. Not bad, the questions were easy. How was the test? You see the difference, you see? Just, does this slide you just see? Yes, present that. Uh, yeah, uh, the communication between uh, going on on the tense according to past, present, and future. Hello. Yeah, the communication is going as as you said as per past, present, and future. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So. I have turned on my camera. I don't know. As I told you, no, MS team doesn't support every time. My camera, I don't know why it is not showing here. But my camera is on. I have turned on my camera. If you are able to see me, then you tell me, huh? Uh, it doesn't always. Support. Sometimes the Bluetooth is not getting supported. Sometimes the camera is not getting supported. You leave that, you listen to my lecture. As far as the lecture is audible, it is okay. So see now. Okay. As I was telling you, yeah. So now see, uh, this is the tense chart. Okay, indefinite and everything is written here anyway. Mm. Now the main idea behind tense is that we need to learn certain sentences. We need to know affirmative, interrogative, negative and all this. Huh? Indefinite, continuous, perfect and all this. Okay. Mm. So in case of affirmative sentence, it is a positive sentence. Positive in the sense that we say any, any simple sentence you can think of. Okay, if you are speaking of any simple sentence, then we say it is affirmative sentence. So see, yes. we live in New York. You just see, yeah, I'm not I'm not speaking much. You just see. If you have any problem, then you ask me because this is very simple. Yes, no issue. Okay, now this one. Negative interrogative sentence, and for example, it was not. Interrogative means uh, asking about uh, the sentence, we can ask the question, I think. Yes, only questions, only questions. Yes. Interrogative means only questions. Yes. Okay. Okay. No, see. Okay. Now you tell me this one by one. You only say affirmative in what uh, one by one. You don't have to read out the entire sentence. You just go on saying. Okay. He had been waiting for him. It will not show in the winter. This winter. Have you been 
फर्स्ट वन अफर्मेटिव सेकंड वन अफर्मेटिव थर्ड वन इंट्रोगेटिव सेकंड वन सेकंड वन व्हाट व्हाट डिड यू से सेकंड वन थिंकर से एक अह या अफर्मेटिव बट नो 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 सेकंड वन थिंक एंड से व्हाट इज द सेकंड वन इट इज नॉट अफर्मेटिव व्हाट इज द सेकंड वन नॉट नेगेटिव यस व्हाट डिड यू से अफर्मेटिव देन दिस यू हैव टू थिंक ना yes yes a uh, negative sentence interrogative sentence and uh, she is giving to board for a higher studies a affirmative sentence we have not been negative sentence would you uh, not fly there uh, this is interrogative sentence yes so that is the way we deal that with sentences it. yeah I mean, different sentences we deal in this way. Okay. Arman, can you just uh, let me rejoin because why my camera light is on, but the camera is not working. Just a minute, let me just leave and rejoin once. Sir, you just stay sure, connected. Sure. You don't leave here. Yeah. I just want to check. Yeah, now it is working. Actually, two teams were open at the same time. That's why having issue. Yeah. I think you log in with the Teams and you are logging with Web. I think that's why. Okay, okay, now okay, okay. What I have logged in, I'm logging. Okay, okay, it's okay. Now you say, you say number three. Can you see? Yes, I can see. Number three, say now. Say number three quickly. Don't take so much time. Have you been uh -huh. working hard? What say? Yeah. Yeah, it is interrogative, and uh, number four, uh, four one is a uh, affirmative, and five one is negative, and four six one is a uh, uh, interrogative. Interrogative, negative, interrogative, negative. Yeah, question. Yeah, you understand? Okay. Now I'm teaching you the basic and most important rule. This you keep in mind, and after the class only I will attach it in your WhatsApp document. Huh? You will see it uh, when you get time. So this is the place where we make a mistake. We listen to this lecture carefully. Okay. Okay. This was this can be made into a form of a presentation. Just a minute. Let me talk, talk to Shabaz. Actually, some important lectures. No, they were saying that. Just a minute. Morning. It's currently 3 p.m. Okay, actually, the thing is that there are certain portions of the particular lecture which will be recorded, huh? Maybe they can be made into YouTube. You don't say anything. After I finish, then I will ask you question. That time I will message him that okay, my thing is over. Then you can ask me, okay? I mean, whenever I'm giving this particular presentation, no. So some portion can be recorded, like and made in a form of a thing. You understand from a video form because for uh, for the yeah. other students, ah, huh? yeah. this because the conversation need not be sent to all the students. Huh? So Arman, if Shabash calls me, I will just tell him that that this portion I'm making into a form of a presentation. I think my dress is not that bad. It is okay. I mean, because of winter, it nobody will look at for your thing, no. I, that is that is why I wanted to call him. He's busy now. Let us start, huh? What you do, Abba Arman? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. What you do? You don't ask me anything. After I say, now you can ask me questions. Then you ask me. Okay. I'm just giving like a because suppose you are not only the one in the classroom. There are several students, and suppose it is an online recorded class. In that way, I'm giving. You try to understand. And then after that, I will ask you. I will give you some. Then I will say, okay, it is done. And then you can ask me. Okay. Just a minute. So see, today I want to give you an idea regarding simple present tense. Huh. We all know that in tense, the Shabaj is calling. I just a minute. <laughs> शाबाद जी वो टेंस का जो हम अभी आइडिया दे रहे हैं ना वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है तो उसका पोर्शन आप काफी एडिट कर लेंगे यूट्यूब के लिए और मन कोई क्वेश्चन अभी नहीं पूछेंगे सिर्फ सुनेंगे तो ये हम देना शुरू करना हम आपको मैसेज कर देंगे इट इज डन तो देन 
नहीं नॉर्मल वे कॉन्वर्सेशन विद कैरियर तभी वो हमको सवाल पूछेंगे ठीक है इसीलिए हम आपको बोला फोन किया हम शुरू करते हैं ठीक है ठीक है ओके या सो गुड आफ्टरनून सुडे एम गोविंग टू गिव यू एन आइडिया रिगार्डिंग सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस वी ऑल नो दैट टेंस हैव जनरली टेंस डिनोट्स थ्री डिफरेंट कॉन्सेप्ट वन इज सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस then then is past tense and another one is future tense so under this comes other subheads also like under simple present tense we have present continuous tense present perfect tense again in past we have past continuous tense past perfect tense and again in future also we have future continuous tense and future uh, past tense and normal future tense okay now today i just want to give you an idea about simple present tense so as can be seen from this particular presentation that it is used to talk about an action which happens on a regular basis present tense means right now whatever we are doing suppose i say i brush my teeth regularly okay i go to school daily so these sentences denotes present tense right now you are doing so an action which happens on a regular basis it may be like not right now it is happening maybe little bit early also if it i mean a little bit later i mean if it happens a little bit earlier you can say in this way ma'am when i woke up i brushed my i i i just entered the kitchen i cooked my food so if uh, the moment you are using ed then it indicates an action of past present tense means something which is happening right now so and regularly if i say the sun rises in the east okay and if i say I, if i go to school if i say this sentence i go to school regularly so that is also present tense i go to school regularly does it mean that right now you are going to school but i go to the market daily i go to school regularly i read newspaper daily so these actions indicate present tense now keeping in mind the concept of present tense there is a particular rule that the first form of the verb v1 plus s or es plus object so what do we mean by this we know from the concept of pronoun that there are three different categories first person second person and third person what is this first person first person is i in singular and if it is plural we say we in second person you is considered in both ways singular and plural and in third person he she it and then they so the concept of present tense particularly this slide carries an important rule it highlights an important rule what is the rule we generally use s or es with the verb when the subject is singular this is a very important concept because whatever sentences we say whatever speeches we say whenever we are saying anything in a sentence we need to keep this idea we need to keep this idea in mind that we we shouldn't use i mean if it is plural then we shouldn't use es okay but if it is singular then we should use s or es with the verb for example if i say he goes to the market he does his work she plays in my garden okay so these are all singular subjects these are definitely third person subjects but these are singular subject geeta goes to school daily geeta helps her mother regularly okay so what is happening if i say geeta helps her mother regularly so geeta is the subject third person singular with the particular verb help i am adding s why i am adding because it is as per the rule that with the subject you need to add s or es and you use the first form of the verb okay and there can be an object if i say the sun rises in the east so every day the sun is rising okay so this is the main concept of present tense the first rule that with singular you only need to add s or es with the verb but if the subject is plural the question can come to your mind that why i is counted as a plural i is counted in that way like it is singular as well as plural if i say i do my work regularly so i am indicating myself okay i am highlighting myself that i do my work regularly but in sentence we say in such a way that it is taken in the form of a plural when certain helping verbs are added with i so we say like i am watching 
whenever we see i am watching it becomes present continuous with i certain verbs will not go like i have uh, used certain words beside i am was were have these are the words which will go with i i am watching television okay i am a student i am a teacher i was watching television okay if i were a if i were the prime minister in that way you can say as per condition you can impose a condition if i were okay i have lot of work to do i did this for you then again past comes here but still i do my work regularly but with i we cannot add certain verbs like is will not never go with i we cannot say i is never we can see in any sentence i is neither we can say i are but i were we can say okay so keeping in mind this rule if the subject is plural we we are helping them or we uh, suppose if i say we okay now i don't want to explain anything about present continuous in this particular slide it is only simple present tense so with we if i use any verb then what is the rule we we shouldn't add any s or es we can say we play in the garden daily the children play in my garden regularly the subject of the sentence is the children the children itself is a plural word so you need to keep in mind you cannot add any s or es with the verb that will be the main verb the children we cannot say the children plays in my garden the children play in my garden we play in the field okay we play regularly we visit temples daily we visit okay so we play uh, the children play so what is the rule with plural we cannot add s or es so to go in a more deeper concept you see the four examples which are given dog barks dogs bark if i say the girl plays hockey the girl is a singular subject as per the rule i am adding s with the verb and then an object the girl plays hockey if i say girls then again the subject is converted into plural so whenever the subject is converted into plural you just omit that s from the particular verb you say girls play hockey or you can say the girls play hockey the dog barks in front of my house okay we play every day in the garden we play i cannot say ki we plays we read a lot of books so in different ways application of this singular and plural that is the concept of pronouns mainly first second and third person it is merging with the concept of simple present tense in what way because we are adding s or es as per the subject the subject depends upon the pronoun that is the concept of pronouns whether it is i whether it is we whether it is they the moment i am saying i i do my work regularly they do their work regularly okay so now if i say i do my work regularly i cannot say ki i does similarly if i say they why because as i told you and it is shown also these are certain exceptional pronouns i we you they with this we need to keep in mind we cannot add any s or es with the verb okay but if you are using in this way suppose use any name rama rama do his work you cannot say rama does his work because rama is the third person singular again you can say he does his work okay suppose it it represents an animal the cat is very cute it likes milk it it likes milk you cannot say it like milk okay because i am again pointing to a singular subject but here i am representing an animal so in this way using this particular application of tense simple present tense in your speech also okay you can apply now everything depends upon the topic the topic which is given to you as per the topic you can use the different concept of tense so this is what i wanted to share with you all regarding the rule of simple present tense and how this can be applied in the sentence just a simple rule that we need not add s or es with the verb if it is singular subject and if it is plural you need to keep in mind why we you they and with i certain things will not go only if some certain helping verbs they match with the particular pronoun i as i have written here and i have marked it within bracket okay
Okay, Arman, you listen to the lecture. Yes, ma'am. This was why I said you know because this was something will be cut from there. Maybe it will be made into a. You understand? So that is why. Yeah. yeah. That now you can ask me. Now I want what it want. Yeah. Now we can uh, talk in the normal way. Even if the recording is on. Now see. Suppose okay. this is the most important concept which I told my student few minutes back. Suppose you are saying a particular topic like. Uh, your ambition in life suppose i give you a topic arman your ambition in life huh? mm -hmm. the main problem which you are facing currently i saw that your sentences sometimes are getting disorganized you are mixing mm -hmm. or sometimes the verb is not coming you listen to this this, this also you listen carefully but this will not be recorded everything cannot be recorded no i mean something when it is getting recorded i need to be a little bit alert because mm -hmm. So no mistakes from my side also, and nobody need, need to ask me any question because if you see the ILTS videos and all, they don't ask any question. They just mm, go on yeah. presenting their ideas. Yeah. So now, which I wanted to ask you, I tell you this. Listen carefully. Suppose I, I give you a topic, your ambition in life. So what you will do? You will first think on the topic as I showed you in the normal way. So it it is not necessary that in a particular topic always one tense will follow. It can be a mixture of several tenses. Well, what you aspire to be, what you intend to be. So we can start in this way, Arman, that ma'am, when I was a child, I had a lot of dreams. When I was a child, so it is a matter of past, mm -hmm. I had a lot of dreams in my uh, during my childhood. When I grew up, slowly I started fulfilling my dreams. Okay, I started fulfilling my dreams. To a certain extent, my dreams were fulfilled. So everything is saying a matter of past and past continuous. I started fulfilling my dream is past continuous. Started and fulfilling. Okay. Now you will not understand so easily because until then unless I show you, but still from the sentence you can make out that combined tenses applied in a particular topic whenever you are giving speeches. So I started fulfilling my dream. So ma'am, uh, I completed my studies past tense. I grew up. Then I did my graduation again past tense. Currently, I am working in a company in a corporate sector. I'm working my daily. Let me say first, and then you say currently I'm working in a company. Suddenly converted into present continuous. Currently, I'm working my dream. So, ma'am, every day I go to the office. Normal present tense. Every day when I work, I feel bored or I become bored. Again, past tense came in. I become bored. Huh? I feel bored. Bored. Ed. Past tense came in. So my own one thing is that I want to grow in life. Future came in. I want to grow in life. So then I started. Now my Arman tell me something about your ambition. Then you said, ma'am, my ambition is to become, or ma'am, I want to become, or I wish to become. So you want to do something. I wish to become, I want to become. So future is coming. When you started the topic, Arman, you started with a past tense background. Then ma'am, when I was a child, I used to play. Okay. We, were, we had a big garden every day we were playing we were playing past continuous slowly when i grew up right now i am busy with my office if i say i'm busy with my office that means you are using pre simple present tense then you say ki ma'am every day i'm going to office present continuous then you say ki ma'am this this every day i follow the same routine again present tense then finally you end the topic ki ma'am everybody has their ambition my ambition I wish to fulfill the dream of my parents. I wish to fulfill. Okay, I want to become a uh, well-established manager. Okay, I will help the company. I will help the company to provide to earn revenue. You want whatever you want, you want, want, want. Will future is coming. So you can see the jugglery. I mean the tricks of grammar. Sometimes past you started in the middle you use present and then again you went to future. So my idea in explaining it to you is that whenever you see a topic, no, when the students ask me, you just see the topic, see the nature of the topic. It is not nothing like a parrot. We teach a parrot say this, the parrot says this. Again, we say say B, the parrot. It is not the parrot tech job. You have to understand from the strings of your heart, from the innermost cores of your imagination. Okay, it is C O R E S cores. It is not causal chore. It is different. That means that ma'am is giving me a topic. I need to use the all the forms of tense depending on the topic. What did what is the topic I gave you? Your ambition in life. You started from a past. 
you went to the present and then you ended in future. Write down the topic which I gave you in the chat box. Importance of books in our life. We can say that my books always play or books have always been playing. Have been again you are using. So past uh, present perfect comes in. OK, so. This any topic which I give you know it is a combination of different things of grammar that is mainly tense. When books play yes. an important role, you are saying ki books play. See how it is matching with this particular slide. Books play because books, even if it is a non living thing, it is a plural subject. You cannot say ki books plays because you are saying books. You say when books play, like dogs bark. So books play an important role in our life. Reading of books is essential in our everything in present. Then you narrated a past incident. Ki ma'am, when I was a child, I used to read. Okay, I used to read a lot of books, or I read a lot of books. The pronunciation varies, Arman. I read a lot of books. You are not saying ki I read a lot of books. You are, the word is R E A D, but you are pronouncing it differently. Ma'am, when I was a child, I read a lot of books. Today also, whenever I get time, I read books. Again, you diverted into present. How you want to complete in future? Ma'am, in the future, if I get opportunity, I will read a lot of books. Just you saw the jugglery, how I used it. Sometimes past I started in the beginning, middle I used uh, present and I ended it with future. The future should not end in. Uh, I mean, the, I'm sorry, the, I'm sorry. The topic should not end in anything past. It should be at least a little bit of culture future. Present can be there. OK, suppose if you send me my suppose you're talking about Gandhiji. Now Gandhiji, if you're speaking about Gandhiji, Vivekananda or Nehru or uh, Nindira Gandhi, whatever, then the entire topic will be in past. Na? Indira Gandhi contributed a lot for our country. She was an exceptional woman. She uh, worked for the freedom of our country. She worked for different political parties. She gave her life. She sacrificed. Everything is a matter of past. So, what I want to tell you, Arman, in this particular session, very important also. That whatever you say, you say as per the nature of that particular topic, you see what type of topic ma'am is giving. Few minutes back, I told you about ambition and books. It is a combination topic. OK, when I tell you, Arman, you prepare about something about world war. There's a uh, this topic you prepare for the next class, though. Tomorrow is your class Thursday. Wednesday, you prepare for Thursday's class. I'm giving you two okay. days time. There is a part, listen mm -hmm. to me first. There's a particular town in Poland. It is named. I didn't know so much about Poland. Okay, I was not bothered about. I mean, in the sense that I knew we are all studied history, but the thing is that until and unless you know what the problem with us is that until and unless something exceptional comes in the this thing, newspaper or in the news, we don't get bothered about that particular topic. Okay, like Corona when it first came to China. We started uh, reading. And then then suddenly when it attacked our country, then we got involved. OK, so this particular uh, town, I'm just when I'm saying the story because if, even if you read you know, the idea, you have to narrate to me. OK, mm -hmm. today only that Bangalore based student, I gave her idea. She told me about land and Messi's victory FIFA World Cup. I this yes, I will yes. also do with you. You will read an article from the that little bit after this. We have been doing maybe from January. I will start. Article from the newspaper you will read and you will narrate to me whatever article you have read. It can be a sports related topic, but it should be the regular newspaper, not the 10 year old black newspaper. OK, she read a topic about Messi and she told me, Ki, ma'am, the Calcuttans, they're celebrating the victory of Messi and Argentina. I showed her the paper. I highlighted to her the telegraph paper. Erupted. I mean, erupted means we say volcano erupts. This whole city has erupted in celebration. The word is written in this way. Till today also I can learn so many things from the newspapers erupted in celebration. That means they are celebrating their victory. They're in midst of full of celebration and joy. Okay. Volcano we have on the volcano they emit erupts. OK, I mean suddenly some fumes come out. So the city erupted means what the city is in a festive mood. OK, that we can mm -hmm. say that Kolkata Park Street is famous. 25th of December is a great day for the Calcutans. Why? Because Park Street will uh, is uh, the entire park street will erupt in celebration. I mean, celebration things will come out, outburst of celebration. So I learned of what I knew this word, but how to apply in the sentence I also learned. So newspapers are the best way. 
okay and also from certain topics which i'm giving you from history you will read this topic and you will tell me the gist of it so what happened when hitler adolf hitler when he acquired that uh, particular position of a leader he was extremely dominant and a cruel person a man cannot be brutal to a such an extent already we have seen that germany had spoken about uh, germany and other countries were attacked during world war 2 poland was the victim because the concentration mm. camps were in poland so he made a policy and just telling you the gist okay many prisoners he was completely against that philosophy that he wanted to massacre elimination of the entire race i don't want a single person to be alive this is a brutal approach no he doesn't have so much authority mm. i mean god has given, given our life we don't have the right to take the life of others because i know neither we can take our own life so both are i mean equivalent same type of crime so that time what happened uh, arman many prisoners were taken like in form of prisoner they tried to escape so they were put like hitler was on that particular belief that uh, nazi uh, this is not nazi related germany nazis were the main the occupied germany i mean entire germany wanted to eliminate the jews he was completely having a hatred for the uh, jews so he uh, made a particular he constructed a particular it was called a gas chamber they showed in a particular movie i will tell you the name of the movie my son one day after seeing in school then only i got the idea actually i was also not bothered and some of my friends that visited europe and they visited that particular place so he made a particular camp and there he uh, in that particular in that specific camp there was a gas chamber the name of the particular town in poland was oshis and it was a concentration camp where prisoners they came and they used to hide themselves during world war okay so what happened the main thing is that too much harassment too much killing too much massacre because as i told you hitler wanted to become the conqueror of the entire world he wanted to rule as a dominant leader so when germany invaded poland because he hailed from germany hitler wanted to massacre them so what he did he Uh, like it was a policy which he took he uh, made a policy that some trains he introduced okay because if he just invite the people in that way no, no none will come no so he like a sort of invitation to the jew that you come to my place i will give you job such a cruel thing you see how falsely a person can become so much brutal like a tiger or a lion they are brutal okay they are wild animals so he made an invitation in the sense that he just approached the particular place that okay you'll come i will give them give you all that but everything you will come through trains you will get down you will take tea and biscuit we will establish mm-hmm. a camp and those who of you all need job you all will i will give you a job also so he introduced mm-hmm. several means of transport trains and everything was introduced many camps were established huh? now there was a policy undergoing this particular strategy i mean strategy means a very clever plan that he wanted to massacre them so he wanted to create a camp that in that way i cannot eliminate no so first of all i need to bring them there okay mm-hmm. i need to bring them there so that by any means if they come there then i can i mean implement my strategy because suppose suppose i invite you okay you don't want to accept my invitation i i create a particular policy See, I'm, uh, I'm making this type of dishes with. They, they, show, they showed it in a particular movie also. Okay, so it was one of the main, uh, one of the largest camps uh, for the final massacre of the Jews, and it is termed as Holocaust. So they opened these camps. He constructed the camps and he invited the people. It was located at the particular place. They arrived, arrived by train. So they arrived by train. After they got down from the train, all the people were examined. Okay. like whether you are fit to do the job that was also a particular policy huh so the name of the place was oshi this was just like a small small town type place i mean small town huh? so what he did he built a camp there and then he told them okay i am assuring you that you will get a job so he keep but he cannot keep the entire population at one time no so what he did he started inviting them offering they got down from the train little bit of hospitality by providing them tea biscuits and like this and then they were tested all their things were tested i mean organs of the everything like if you are physically fit or not like medical test is done so that was tested and then he hired certain doctors also okay i mean he had given money so people can do anything for money you know i mean if you are not brutal then you will not do anything for example somebody tells you kill that person for money will you kill him something will prick you, you know that i am killing a person for money okay 
so but he was extremely cruel so he had given bribe those doctors also because for to achieve his aim so what he did he after creating the camps he uh, invited them and then everybody was tested and everybody was put inside a particular suppose imagine a very big hall type of thing an auditorium okay in like auditorium you have seen the halls okay so there yeah. all the people were put in understand there all the people were put in even the children also Oh, first of all, the men, then the women, and then the children. After they enter, it suppose you enter a particular auditorium for a particular show. So you all know, okay, you are all waiting, okay, we are excited that we will get a job, huh? But they didn't know the underlying principle behind this. So they were all talking and gossiping and chatting. Suddenly he told them, okay, all of you come, you will take showers because you will clean yourself. Because like for interview, what we do, we have to go for, you have to dress yourself, no? So you have to go for the interview. So you take bath showers, you take showers, you clean yourself, you open your clothes, you clean yourself, and then again you put on your clothes, and then we will be giving you jobs and all. This was the final thing. So even the children were all because that time the children were also made to war because because of the survival of the family. I mean child labor. Okay. So they uh, they started arriving one by one. All were started arriving. So what he did, he installed those showers and he opened the showers and. They were very happy that feeling cool under the shower bath they were taking and all. Okay. And whatever bags and whatever they bought, all this was, I mean, stolen and seized. After they came from the shower bath, they said, no, it is okay. I mean, this much it is okay. You need not worry about your belongings. You just relax. So after the shower, when they came and sat in that particular place, then he told them, they put on their clothes. And then what he did, he turned on the gas chamber where carbon monoxide gas Okay, he just turned on the gas chamber. All the doors and windows were shut. So everybody suffocated to death, even the children. So in this way, he killed nearly 1.5 million from Hungary, from Poland, some from France, some from the Netherlands, some from Greece. Whatever European countries, he felt that Jews should not in any way remain alive. Okay, Belgium, Slovakia, whatever country, Yugoslavia, Italy, from whatever places. So nearly... Nearly two, I mean, this 1.5 would be a lesser amount. Nearly two millions were killed. And uh, and in that way, he like and the, this particular thing was made in a particular, written in a particular novel, Diary of Anna Frank. Uh, everything has been mentioned. So now the most brutal thing, this was he did. He killed them by injecting carbon monoxide. Okay. Those who had a lot of energy, huh? Suppose you see, you have in, in, inserted that gas and they, they cannot be killed easily, no? So they were choking. Yeah. So he brought them outside and he smashed their head. He took the, I suppose any woman, any children. Children have a lot of immunity, yeah? He smashed constantly in their heads were banged until and unless they died. So this I didn't know. 75 years celebration, it came in the telegraph. And then I came to know about the notorious act. You know, nothing goes... Everything you have to pay. So his ultimate dream was not fulfilled. He ultimately committed suicide because his dream was to become the conqueror, but he was not able to do because the courts of so many people, no, the courts of the so many people, so many camps, he massacred them. And ultimately he was not able to fulfill his dreams. Okay, so this particular thing, what I told you, you just go through the Wikipedia. I'm just typing in the chat box. You just the same way you narrate to me. I just I just delivered this article. Why? Because apart from this particular tense concept, this is small. I gave you in bits today. Tomorrow's class, I will continue that the, the chat box. I'm typing the message. It is the. History. Of. Oh, sheets a a u s c h i t w h it is i i don't i am not able to pronounce that particular it's a country yeah huh? it is in poland okay so today if you don't get time i'm giving you two days time to do you keep it for thursday today is tuesday no nah? okay mm. you keep it for thursday but for tomorrow's class what you do uh, this thing arman for tomorrow's class you read any newspaper article from the wikipedia and you just tell me the gist any small article Lion and messi about any more don't don't say about all those crimes murder rape trafficking i'm not interested some important yes, news any nation related news okay yeah. before ending the topic i was sharing the presentation with you here so this is one thing which i taught you today 
you just finish this particular thing i just showed you kc whenever we add he, he reads he does not read does he read so with we don't add s or you just take a screenshot of this particular thing because i don't want to send the entire thing to him because there are a lot of exercises after i finish the entire test then i will give you just take a screenshot of this yeah i have taken and this also done so now yes. you do this exercise so what is as per your imagination you see plants what it should be because this is plural so what is what is the verb, form of verb you have to use would it plants. be needs or would it be needs plants need very good my number 2 my grandfather my grandfather adores 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 me tarif karna tarif karna he admire number 3 Sophia so, Sophia speaks English very well Number 4 Rohan and Sonia Rohan and Sonia like to play card game Yeah plural yeah This one Does Emily makes delicious Yeah number four, yeah Yeah it's okay okay number 6 Janet Janet does not want to be singer Janet does not want to be a singer okay Yes yeah, so this concept okay whatever you learn from me you have to keep in mind only two simple things one is with plural what you have to keep a uh, sing uh, we use verb without s or es do play they yes. you i we everything will go in that way we do they do i do okay when it becomes singular i does he does okay she does okay ram does whatever This is the main thing that whether you are adding s or es with the verb. Before ending, I just want to show you this particular slide, this one. Uh, that see, if it is plural, as I told you, and does, so we don't add s or es to the verb in question. I cannot say. I can ask you, do you read books here? How I am changing the question? I can ask you in this way. do you read books i'm not saying does you read books why because they are clearly mentioned okay we don't add yes the verb is so it is do we have to say we use do or to make questions okay so i cannot say does no does will go for what singular does he not read books does he read books or you can use in statement okay you want us to just just see this is the main con this and these are the main things okay so 